Hey guys, Steven here, Fanatic Perspective. W what have I done to deserve this? What, what have I done to deserve a weekend like this where we're in September and I'm down my, my college quarterback, I'm now down my professional quarterback, and this, this video is going to be Cowboys related. And it's been a while since I've made Cowboys content. I'm going to tell you why. Um, first off, thank you to the sponsor, BSR, BSR.com slash fanatic. Hit the promo code. We made some, we made a lot of money today, week one wise, uh, because I know what the hell I'm talking about and I watch this league. The Vikings, I knew what it was going to be with, with them and the Packers. Um, so many of these games, the Browns, we were all over that one. Um, so we had a really, really good day money wise with BUSR and, and some of the, some of the takes that we had coming right off the gate. So, um, I'm not surprised cause I pay attention to this and that's why I'm not surprised with the Cowboys performance and how shitty they played today. This was an, uh, this was an abomination on offense. Let's, let's be clear, right? Because defensively they did everything they could not only to keep themselves in the football game but Tom Brady also looked bad um as well as you know you look at the quarterback play across the NFL a lot of these quarterbacks that chose to essentially blow off preseason football uh and some of the you know some elements of training camp Tom Brady included um you saw how they look today so and and Matthew Stafford even on on Thursday, right? So a lot of quarterbacks look like trash. Our quarterback today before he got injured, Dak Prescott, looked like trash today. Um, but my frustration starts at the top, right? With 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 Jerry and Stephen Jones, specifically Stephen Jones, because I knew this whole uh, cap friendly, we like our guys, all of that was bullshit. He's been selling you guys bullshit. And I've been trying to tell everybody that's in this Cowboys fan base that's willing to listen and really understands football that you cannot build football teams in the NFL like this. You can't. You can't be overly dependent on any one thing. We are unbalanced. We are overly dependent on our scouting department. Point blank, period. We That is where everything comes from. Good, bad, and indifferent on this team. They do not believe in free agency. They do not believe... And they don't even, they don't understand personnel management and how to manage a roster, understanding trends in the league, whether it's coaching trends, whether it's certain personnel trends, at least offensively, okay? Because Dan Quinn and, and, and what they're doing on defense, they, they clearly are more so at the forefront of, you know, things that are happening in the league defensively. And that's why you're seeing, you know, guys like Micah Parsons, uh, and, and J. Ron Curse and, and Donovan Wilson, all these guys playing at a high level because they're being used in a manner that is conducive to playing football in 2022. And quite frankly, the offense we're running right now still has Jason Garrett's remnants over it because Kellen Moore is involved. And Kellen Moore is all he is is a product of Jason Garrett and Scott Linehan. And that's what this fucking offense is. I am so fucking pissed and I'm sick and tired. I am sick and tired of being pitched the same bullshit year in and year out. Yes, we won 12 games last year. Yes, we had a disappointment in the playoff round last year. And when you see stuff like that, a lot of teams would have said, you know what? It's time for us to try to, you know, get better and improve our roster. Hey, we want to run this thing back. Let's just try to, you know, tinker with some things. Let's try to add a Vaughn Miller. Let's try to add, you know, whatever we can. I know, I know how people felt about Bobby Wagner and things like that. But what about a guy like Julio Jones? You got receivers going down in camp. You got receivers going down in camp. We drafted Jalen Tolbert. He's not active today. Michael Gallup's not ready to go. James Washington gets hurt. And you guys stuff your noses at Julio Jones. And I know he wasn't, he's not, that's not the Julio Jones from Atlanta Falcons that's been all world in the Hall of Famer. But damn it, he can still stretch the field as we saw tonight. Damn it, he's still better than what the 
fuck we have on our team right now. I'm not happy about this, man. But I saw this shit coming. I saw it. I saw it. Look how they've treated the offensive line. You draft Tyler Smith, and, and we spend all this time and resources getting him ready to play guard, and you have no backup plan for Tyron Smith. And now we have to go and sign a 40-year-old Jason Peters who's not ready and not active. Hopefully he's ready to go next week. But now we got to put Tyler at left tackle, and God bless Tyler. He, you know, he wasn't terrible. But we've got all these guys, you know, Connor McGovern goes down, gets gets injured, and and just all this 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 chaotic stuff. Terrence, you guys wanted to go all in on Terrence Steele at right tackle. He's not a better football player than Leo Collins. Stop this. Stop being cheap. You have you have you're at least I believe in the top five in cap space. Steven Jones, Dallas Cowboys. This shit is embarrassing. And this is what you guys do. And this is what you guys sell. That's You guys are selling, hey, we want to be competitive year over year. That's why we choose not to go all in on a team. All in. All in, whether it, it, it soaks up the cap or anything like, anything like that. Like the Rams did. Like, like the Chiefs did. Like the Buccaneers did. You know, teams that are winning championships, teams that are consistently making the playoffs, teams that are good year over year, that go directly against your own goddamn philosophy. And that's how you end up with the product that you had offensively tonight. And now, look, I am not here to defend Dak Prescott in terms of how he played tonight. He was shitty. Yes. Miss some throws through a dumbass pick. Look, I, this is not the time to go all in defending Dak, Pre Dak Prescott. But he's still a damn good quarterback, a quarterback that I know we can win with. But you have him playing in a offense that is dated in the two in the twenty tens, if that. With, you know, Doug and Gary playing receiver, Dennis Houston wouldn't have started in the Texas Alabama game at receiver, and yet he's starting for us against Tampa Bay. And then we have Noah Brown running routes against Carlton Davis, and you guys are trying to draw up beaters to get Noah Brown isolated. And y'all wondering why CD and CD Lamb, I mean, is you know he's a good football player. He's a really good football player. We don't know if he's a number one receiver. He has yet to show that, and he struggled tonight when getting that attention. Not every ball is going to be right, perfect on you, right? Or, or you know, just even able to get have the strength to fight through contact or the speed to run away. He doesn't have either one of those traits. He's not elite, fast burner type guy, and he's not this monster, strong dude like you saw Michael Thomas come back today and just bullying guys. He's neither one of those things. He's a very, very useful tool. I'm, I'm not here to even blame players like that because this is bigger than them. It's not Tony Pollard's fault that they don't know how to use him, that they're putting him in on third downs third and longs and asking him to pass block when you have Zeke Elliott over there. That's not that's not Tony Pollard's fault. That's not Zeke's fault. Right? This is top-down bullshit going on. That's why this, this even coming into all of this, I, I, I've been so reluctant to make content because I'm like, yo, I don't see this team winning more than seven or eight games this year. I really don't. This is a terrible offensive roster terrible and it sucks because we're wasting yet another great effort by dan quinn look how they've treated the even the kicker situation brett maher shout out to him he made you know game ball to you you, you scored the only points of the game they're wasting we've it's been 26 years and all they do is waste great players that's what this organization has done. That's what this organization is. They get talent and they waste it. But for anybody to sit up here and say right now that there's talent on this offense, at least presently, you are lying or you don't understand football. Talent is not asking CeeDee Lamb to beat the whole Tampa Bay team and then Dalton Schultz getting covered up by Devin White and... and you know, and, and and Antoine Winfield and them in, in some cloud coverage. And then we have nobody. There's not one person that 
Todd Bowles is like, yo, they might beat us over the top. Let's push back a little bit. Now, one freaking person, and I apologize for the language. I don't normally cuss in my videos, but I am so upset. I'm so upset with this franchise. I'm so upset with how, with, with the lack of football people that are involved. They don't have enough football people in the front office that know what they're doing. They don't know what they're doing. They know how to work the cap and they know how to lean on their scouting department to draft players. But you want to blame, you want to blame, you guys keep blaming players. You want to blame Amari Cooper, he's not here anymore. You want to blame Connor Williams, he's not here anymore. You want to blame Leo Collins, he's not here anymore. We were blaming Dak Prescott before. He's going to be gone the next few weeks. Let's see how, let's see when's the next time we'll score a touchdown this time. Maybe it won't be a month when he's gone. He didn't, we didn't even score one today. When he was in there and when he was gone. Want to blame Zeke Elliott? Blame Zeke. Blame Dez. Blame Tony. Blame Jason Witten. Blame Demarcus Ware. Blame Tank Lawrence. Ah, oh, Tank doesn't get enough sacks. Blame Byron Jones. All of these freaking players. This is not on them. Wake up, Cowboys fans. Wake up. We are being fed lies. And we have been fed lies. The people running this organization, they have not, they keep telling you we want to be competitive year over year, yet the last time they've made the playoffs two years in a row, just two years in a row, was 2006 and 2007. Tony Romo's uh, first years of started when he took over under Bill Parcells. And his first year with Wade Phillips. That was the last time this organization made the playoffs back-to-back -back seasons. So that is the entirety of the Romo era. And the entirety of the Dak Prescott era. So pick who the fuck you want to blame if you want to pick a player. Pick them. Pick them. Because I'm sick and tired of isolating this to players when this is a multi-decade issue. And I, we see it coming. So don't let them sell you that we're going to be competitive year over year. They don't know how to be competitive year over year. They don't. They think they're New England. They think, they think they're New England. They think they're smart like that. They're not. They've never, they never have been. At least when you try to go all in and take risk and and do some of the things that, again, the teams I mentioned, the Rams, the Bucks, the Chiefs, and some of those th those things the franchise have done. That doesn't say, hey, we ignore scouting. Hey, that doesn't say we ignore personnel development in the building. It's a multi-tiered approach. The Cowboys try to skip steps. This is what this organization has been. But I'm tired. I'm tired. Shout out to the Bucks. Like you can't even, we can't even take advantage. Tom Brady's awful tonight. Can't take advantage of that. Um, but you know what? At least they surround Tom Brady with actual weapons. At least he gets a Leonard Fournette and a Mike Evans. I know Godwin was 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 on a pitch count limited, but at least he gets Chris Godwin, and and now he gets to have Julio. And we're over here trotting out. And this isn't a Dennis Houston jab or problem or anything. He's an undrafted free agent. Noah Brown was a sixth or seventh round pick. These aren't guys you're supposed to be out there in a regular season NFL football game having to rely on, on top of running an antiquated scheme. And you have, don't even get me started with Keller Moore, but you have somebody that in their opening script has not one, but two end arounds drawn up and a double reverse pass when the moment you guys actually had any type of rhythm before the milk really went bad. Think about that. Think about these things as you're watching the football game or rewatching this game. I feel bad for the defense and they deserve an apology. Dan Quinn deserves an apology. We'll see how long, you know, they're going to use Mike McCarthy as a scapegoat. I'm not saying he's a good coach either, but they're going to use him as a scapegoat and all these other things. I don't know how you fix this. Um, I would like to think that Sean Payton could fix this. I know what Sean Payton can do. 
However, with the, the idiots up top hovering over him uh, and the nature in which they run their business because they're not football people, are they going to allow him to make football calls? Like, that's the thing. That's Because that's what we ran into with Bill Parcells, right? If you want me to cook the meal, you got to let me buy the groceries. That's what he used to say. Are we going to let Sean Payton do that? He's a Parcells guy. Shout out to BUSR. BUSR.com slash fanatic. We made some good money today. Like I said, it was um really, really good Sunday from a betting perspective and, and thankful for that. But um shitty weekend to lose my quarterbacks this, you know, when you go into games, whether it's college or NFL, and you don't even have your guy back there, uh, it is the most important position in sports for a reason. It really, 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 really sucks. And so that's where I'm at right now. Again, I apologize for the language on the video. Uh, I'll try to be better moving forward, but right now I'm weak, and this sucks, and uh, this is just raw emotion, raw reaction. So love y'all. Peace.